Yes, my G. Vivian is in the building. Hey, hey. hey. Right, so, what's going on, guys? Omid and Vivian Yulu hey. are on the same sofa right now. Hello! <laughs> In today's video, I wanted to talk about how to get higher flips because this man goes like 10 feet in the air whenever he does anything. And I, I can go high sometimes, a bit, an average amount, <laughs> but yeah. A lot of people have been asking me lately, do I do a lot of conditioning? How do I get higher flips? How do I get stronger flips and all that shit? I thought I'd take this opportunity to ask one of the highest men of all time, how do you get high flips? <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a good question. To be high on the flip, it's not on the flip itself, but it's more on the setup. People get sometimes impressed when I do a touchdown raise and I miss a triple cork. It's not because I, I use a lot of power on the cork or that I was ready to do a triple cork. It's more because my touchdown raise itself gives me the power to be able to get high. Okay. None of my high flips come from the flipping itself, it's always come from... What about J-Step? That's a good question. Obviously, good technique is what's most important so that you can get high flips, because yeah. you can be as strong as possible. Juju Mufu, perfect example. Look how strong that man is. Yeah. But he can't go very high. Yeah, that's, that's true. <laughs> uh, after the setup, you have to work on your blocking technique. The main reason I get high in almost all of my flips is because when I start to trick, obviously I have like the potential to get high, like my legs are quite strong and stuff like that. Every time I, I get trouble with a trick, I was like, okay, to to be able to do this trick, maybe I should go higher than that. <laughs> I, I learned how to block properly, like actually the height more comes from my chest than my leg. When I get the good setup, I feel that the setup like literally threw my body in the air. I have to put my chest on the right position. Mm -hmm. So when I feel that I have a lot of momentum, it if you are real straight like this, mm -hmm. my chest is right there and I try to lean back but just a little bit and to pull my chest up like mm -hmm. as much as I can and with my arm also like this. What keep your and chin into your chest? Yeah, or? exactly. Yeah, ch keep yeah, my chin yeah. in my chest. This is not where the high come from but this is good way to convert your momentum to high. Okay, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. You see, because when you said when you were first learning to trick, you try, if you couldn't land a trick, you try and go higher. Yeah. I did the opposite. Yeah. <laughs> I was just like, right, I can't land this trick. If I just move 10 times faster, <laughs> I should be able to land this trick. The way I get any height in any of my tricks is when I take my sweet ass time. Whenever I rush anything, I don't go high. I can twist fast, but I can twist fast when I'm high in the air. I can do everything that I need to when I'm 10 feet in the air. A lot of the time, I'll just try and rush it. So the reason that I don't do triple cork right now is because my technique is so bad. I swing my leg up about here, before I even take off. Yeah. And then the second my leg's here, I try and take off and rip the twist, uh -huh. and I'm just pulling in. Whereas I know the correct technique is to take off as fast as possible, minimize the swing a hell of a lot, and put my chin into my chest and lift up. But instead, I just go, <laughs> but it's just not gonna work that way. Uh -huh. Is there anything that you've ever struggled with in particular? I think probably multiple swings and dab dabs and stuff like this like okay, okay. I, I i'd rather do like a triple cork than a dab dab it's actually also because i'm so used to push and pull my chest up mm -hmm. so much that my it's in my body it's my it's in my muscle memory mm -hmm. so i really have to do the opposite lean my chest back yeah, like yeah. way more faster and not pushing too much <laughs> on my left leg to be able to whip a flip and like be able to dab dab but like because of this actually like being high is a good thing but because I'm used to too much like I don't have the control of my height sometimes like, yeah you see that's yeah. the thing because like for me to do multiple swings it's completely different to the way that I'll do something that's high and because I can control that it means I can do a really high swing but I can then also do multiple swings but I'm not particularly great at either. You know what I mean? It's not like I'm baby pain yeah. at corks and it's not like I'm you at going high. Mm -hmm. So I'm just trying to find that middle yeah, ground yeah. where I can go high but then also do things low and fast yeah, and yeah, powerful. Sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm much better at doing things lower and faster. Yeah, yeah. Multiple swings, but triple corks and just... <laughs> it's not, not happening. Working on it. I told yeah. you guys at the beginning of this year I was going to be working my trampoline game so that I could get triple cork on the floor. Finally got triple cork on trampoline. Now I'm going to get on the floor soon. But I need to rest my knee a little bit. There's not going to be as much creative shit from my next few sessions uh -huh. because a lot of that uses my right knee. Yeah, sure. And I'm trying to just rest it right now. And also my toe. If you didn't see the video <laughs> with me kicking that fucking wall, then make sure you check it out. It'll be suggested on the screen just up 
here or here somewhere. Make sure you go and check it out. Yeah, that I, I kicked a wall, fucked my toe up. It's just not been a good week for my body. <laughs> <laughs> All in, I've just been fucking myself up. I hope that was useful. Thank you for joining me. Yeah. Um, Kind of <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Vivian and I, well, Vivian and I will see you in the next video. Much love. Peace. Peace.